The Commerce Department reported that in August 2021, consumer spending rose by 0.8%, while personal income growth only grew by 0.3%. This marks the third straight month that the core personal expenditure consumer price index has increased to an all-time high. The core personal consumption expenditure price index, which I call the CPCEI for short, is an index that measures the cost of consumer goods excluding energy and food. Because who needs energy and food? <laughs> Fed Chairman Jerome Powell blames supply chain bottlenecks for the rise in inflation and certainly that has an impact on it, but so does the trillions of dollars injected into the economy over the past 18 months. At this point, I'd like to remind all of you that both Democrats and Republicans have supported these insane spending bills, depending on who the president was. So whether you wanna blame sleepy Joe Biden or corrupt Donald Trump, I don't care. Just make sure you comment because that boosts engagement. Stupid freaking Joe Trump always messing with my money. Interestingly enough, there was an immediate reaction by the global gold buyers proving that the significant investors are not so worried about massive inflation and view things like government bonds or potentially cryptocurrencies as acceptable hedges. Chairman Powell believes that by mid 2022, the supply chain issues will have abated and inflation will ease. And you really have to hand it to him because eight months away is just close enough to be considered a solution and just far enough away to be conveniently ignored. What do you think will happen with the US dollar? Will we reach hyperinflation, collapsing our economy, introducing us to a primitive barbaric world where massive warriors compete for the last few drops of fresh water in thunder domes? Or is this being hyper exaggerated and nothing will really come of it? I'd love to have you join the conversation below. Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and as always, I'm Blake. I'll see you later.